السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ladies and gentlemen let's continue our videos about electric car design in this video we're gonna uh, focus on the brake system so let's get started here is the brake system of the vehicles how it works and the components so when the brake pedal is depressed the pressure on the brake pedal moves a piston in the master cylinder, forcing the brake fluid from the master cylinder through the brake lines and flexible hoses to the calibers and wheel cylinders. The force applied to the brake pedal produces a proportional force on each of the pistons. The calibers and wheel cylinders contain pistons which are connected to a disc brake pad or brake shoe. Each output piston pushes the attached friction material against the surface of the rotor or wall of the brake drum, thus slowing down the rotation of the wheel. When the pressure on the pedal is released, the pads and shoes return to their released positions. Notice that there are pads or shoes, pins on the drum brake or disc brake. This action forces the brake fluid back through the flexible hose and tubing to the master cylinder. As you can see here, the disc brake is completely different from the drum brake. The drum brake is short, and here is the disc brake, and here are, is the caliber. Okay, the wheel bearing, the wheel studs, disc pads, and here is the uh, disc rotor. Okay, so the disc brakes. Disc brakes are comprised uh, of a disc or roller, a caliber assembly, disc brake pads and the wheel bearings and hardware necessary to mount the components on the vehicle. You can watch on YouTube a very interesting video about how does this work by animation. So the caliber is connected to the master cylinder through tubes, hoses and valves that conduct brake fluid through the system. For the drum brakes, the drum brakes are comprised of a drum and backing plate, a hub or axle assembly, brake shoes, wheel cylinder, wheel bearings and hardware necessary to mount these components on the vehicle. The wheel cylinder is connected to the master cylinder through tubes, hoses and valves to conduct brake fluid through the system. Brake fluid is a type of hydraulic fluid used in brake applications for automobiles, and light trucks. It is used to transfer force under pressure from where it is created through hydraulic lines to the braking mechanism near the wheels. Braking applications produce a lot of or a lot of heat, so brake fluid must have a high boiling point to remain effective and must not freeze under braking conditions. Excessive moisture is also an issue. MAP continues to seek additional information from brake fluid manufacturers and other technical experts to identify the point of vaporization that may seriously affect braking efficiency and safety. So, uh, it's a very short uh, presentation, but now is the time to see the brake brake system in here. You can see the components. As you can see here, this is the caliber. Okay. And here is the disc brake. As you can see, this is the disc brake. And of course, you will find mm, designs which are, are different to, from each other. You will find this part, you may not find it, so let's make the visibility, okay, so let's see here what's going on, so this is the uh, caliper, okay, and here is the lining, here is our little material, Okay, so we have here this part, 
and here is another part visibility as you can see this uh, so that, that part is filled with this part and become one okay and as you know when uh, when the driver presses the pedal Uh, this part uh, moves towards the disc brake okay towards the disc brake as you can see here the disc brake rotates depending on the rotation of the wheel okay so when the uh, this part here presses or put a pressure on this disc it will of course decrease its rotation or speed of rotation and of course this part is connected to the wheel and then the wheel will of course stop or decrease its rotation so let's see here disc brake of a car so this is the disc brake how disc brakes work please uh, open this video I'm gonna find many uh, interesting things I cannot open it due to the copyright claims you'll find the roller bike brake rollers and everything you need caliber so this is the caliber so this is the A real also we can see here another design another design really you have to uh, do the things by yourself you will find this model available part by part you can get it this is very easy So this is uh, uh, the brake and of course it's connected to the wheel as you know like this there are disc brakes which are connected to the wheels So, uh, another thing that's pretty important, I will let you collect some information about it, the, the brake system or circuit. There is a circuit that you have to know how you design it of course we can uh, make a video about it but not now uh, it's pretty important to cover this but later uh, how to connect the circuit of the brake to this part this part is not the only uh, the whole system of braking system no it's just a part of it we're gonna cover the other parts but later because it will be about the fluid and uh, the connection to the pedals and these kind of things and here brake lines master cylinder very very typical disc brake and here's the brake pedal as you know and here's the typical drum brake the brakes okay So here is the uh, drum brake and here is the disc brake, it depends on the design you want and the application. As you can see, you can get your brakes and your muscle cylinder and your front brakes. So again, we have here the disc brake and the caliber and there are two materials here and 
this part you, of course you uh, will use the studs to connect or to fix this to this connect to uh, two of these parts together it's pretty simple to know and to do these things okay so this is the video uh, right now the next video of course we will cover something uh, new uh, now we we talked about the suspension and the the things here is the brick system we uh, here here the uh, chalk absorber okay the next video may be about the chalk absorber yeah i think we can make the uh, uh next video about the chalk absorber we cover the knuckle okay and the control arms so the next video will be about the chalk absorber each component because we did not cover it in detail in details and then we will make a video about the uh, wheel and the trim and then we will be finished from the suspension system and then we can move to uh, another component okay thank you very much i wish this helps you and give you just uh some information about what we do in the cars and of course this you will find this in the electric cars and the uh other cars or the ordinary cars okay thank you very much